Gemini, the song that's playing for you is Ski. So with that being said, you may be in a situation or a position and you're going cold towards something now that you may have put down the burdens that something has brought you, whether the burdens were just a weight in like thinking about something. Every time you thought about something, it just put more weight as to why something was a load on you in some way, shape or form. But you may have stopped doing that. And now you're now that you're doing that, you're skating along in regards to how you invest yourself. You may be a little cold when you express or invest yourself in a certain arena or aspect in your life. But now that you are aware of the truth regarding the situation, whether that's just because you became more, there was more light brought to you regarding that and you got more information for yourself because of something that someone expressed to you or just something you realized with your own eyes or with your own ears or you feel me, your own feelings, your own taste, your own senses or someone expressed via through their senses to you. You, uh, you know what side of the fence you fall on. But now you found your strength and now you're taking a, it's like you, you may be, you could be in the same situation, but you're handling it differently now. You feel me now? It's like you're, you're willing to take an action or whatever action now that uh, death has been brought to a certain form, whether it's a perspective you had, you can't, you no longer view something like how you used to view it. Now you found strength in a new way of seeing something. You feel me? And that's what you're doing. Now you're investing in that. And that you finding strength in that form is allowing you to ski along or just skate along. You may, people may see you as colder. You may be giving a little more of a cold shoulder in regards to how you express yourself. You may not be bringing the same emotions you used to bring. You still have emotions in the space, but just not how you used to have it. You feel me? And people could tell just how you communicate and express yourself. You're not the same. You know what that means for you, though. Yeah, look, it's like you looking at what you invested in. That's, you, you took a step outside of, and looked at what you were doing, whatever you were doing. Mob ties. See, you may be tied to something. Look, and there may be feelings where you looked at. It's like it's good times, whatever it is. But you looked at it and you was like, I'm sick of these niggas. <laughs> Basically, you're sick of whatever that is. Whether it's the cycle you go through regarding someone or something external to you, or just like thought processes and feelings you had. You had some internal niggas you had to sort out. Some internal expressions, some actions you would invest in that you 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 had to um, hang up a little bit. It, that me expressing this shouldn't be there. You feel me? It's that type of shit. After you took a step outside and looked. Yeah, look, you moved. It's like you're emotionally over something. Now that you took a step back, looked at, it's like you out from the outside looking in. You used to be in. Now you're on the outside looking at observing yourself in a situation. You feel me? It's like you're looking at yourself. The other, the other half of the, the other twin, basically. And that puts you in the perspective to emotionally move the way you need to move in the space. You're holding, you may be holding yourself back in a situation, just certain aspects of you. You feel me? Yeah, look, the tower came to something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling for you. You were connected to you, whether it was a friendship or a relationship or just a emotional perspective you had. The, you thinking about and feeling about and expressing yourself because of that feeling in a certain space that yeah, wasn't called for. It didn't fulfill you the way you thought it would fulfill you. It didn't take your emotions to a higher place, bringing you to a broader sense of awareness about something. It didn't do that. So now you may, you may have been fixated on that as to why something wasn't working or you just were trying, you were crying over spilled milk at one point. And that's just because you didn't want to look at what you were doing or what you were in because it was good times. It's like it, it, everyone was emotional. It was like everyone was feeling good. Why would I want to mess this up, basically? But now, you, now that you looked at it, now you got, you got a different perspective about it.
Yeah, somebody outside of you might have lied to you in some way, shape, or form. If it's you versus you, this is just you were lying to yourself. You weren't being totally honest with yourself about what you knew about something external to you. And that's because at the time, it made you happy. Emotionally, it was emotionally fulfilling. It, it satisfied your wants and needs emotionally, whatever that was. So you were willing to endure or continue to express that feeling, whether it was the truth or not. Up until that phase ended. It's like the honeymoon phase wore off. And now we're in the nitty gritty, the where it really counts. And that, and you realizing, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about this, biggest alley oop. Yeah, it's like you had you you may still be in whatever it is, but you it's, you you switch up. It's like one one form of you was in the seat at one point. Now that you looked at what you invested in, and somebody may not have been totally honest with you when they got you into something. Now it's like you now the other half of you is in the seat. This too. Could still be in it though. But it's like you're not, you're emotionally over it. Yeah, judgment was called. It is something it's you call, whether it's you calling judgment on someone's lives or someone outside of you is just like they know you're over the space they share with them because they lied to you in some way, shape, or form. It's like someone was dishonest with you. And whatever they got you invested in, it's like you got your you you're in you're in it though. You just may not be in it the way you used to be in it. Whatever it is. Yeah, look, you moved on. <laughs> it's you over it, yo. The two with the five and the five both in reverse, you over something. If it's a relationship, it's a, if it's a friendship, you you ain't got no time. It's like the song I was playing before, Biggest Alley was Mob Ties. You still may be connected to something. So it's like you're not totally over it, but a form of you died. And it's like now you're reborn in a different space, a different mind. Now you can handle business the way you need to handle business. Empress on the bottom. Now you can take care of things the way you need to take care of things. Now that you're in this position regarding that relationship, that friendship, that business, that expression, whatever it is, now you know how to move. You found your strength. Mm -hmm. You had the biggest alley, or the biggest switch up, and you switched on a dime once you became aware of what you needed to do. Hey, that motherfucker came out. Yeah, look, these two were in the beginning, and these are the last two cards. You put the bird, you found your strength. You know, you in whatever situation, and that's because you took the, it's like you took a chance on it, look, thinking about something differently. You know what? Let me try looking at this from this angle. It was, you planted a seed. Well, you, you didn't know if it was going to grow. You didn't know if it was going to, you feel me? But you gave it a shot anyway. And it turned out in your favor. Now you now you have more light. Now because you 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 started thinking differently. You took a, your mind down a road you don't usually go that way. But you you always every time you invest yourself in this space, this is the only lane you see. You there's all you always get whiffs on your peripherals of another exit, of another road, but you never you don't you don't change your thought process regarding that. Up until you change your thought process regarding that and realize this isn't something that's emotional, though, emotion, as emotionally fulfilling as I thought it was, whatever that is. Now, you could still be in this job. You just don't go to your job the same way you used to go to your job. You go to your job with a different set of emotions, thoughts and feelings regarding it. And you express yourself differently there. You feel me? In whatever form, you know what this is for you. Someone that claim for you is rich nigga shit. Yeah, man, you bossed up. I told you, you handling shit the way you need to handle shit when it comes to that. And that's because somebody, it's like somebody lied lied to you and that once you became aware of that, you switched, you changed. Yeah, whether, or you were lying to you and you called you call judgment on your own bullshit. 
You done playing with yourself. You know who or what this is. 